more arrogant than an actor, writer, director. Well, my script is brilliant and I'm a great director. The question is, how bad do I want this part? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> what it is guys, it's Bull Blasphemous HD, and today we are here to check out some Family Guy. Now these compilations are going to be special because my brother made them for me. Yeah, you know I mean, his sense of humor is a lot like mine, so it should be funny to me. Make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Let's do this. I'm not a forest guy. I'm, I'm more of a take it all in at the beach guy. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. This is private property. What are you doing? <sighs> Just taking it all in. You're staring at my daughter's bedroom. She's really grown into her body. This is gonna be a fun summer for her. You're gonna do that? Ah! Sorry, Dad. That's okay, Chris. You're a good boy following the law. But you, Meg, you're going to jail. <laughs> Toast house. Why is he being such a jerk? I don't know. We've always had each other's backs. Like when we used to rob banks in lesser-known president's masks. All right, remember to tell everyone who did this. Um, who are you guys supposed to be? Oh, come on, I'm James K. Polk. He's Millard Fillmore. He's William Henry Harrison. First president to die in office. You should have been FDR. Why? Because of the, you know. The wheelchair doesn't define me. And I'm Grover Cleveland. It's funny, because my name's Cleveland. Aw, oh, damn it, Cleveland, now we gotta kill them all. Oh, that's okay. Uh, hey, listen, I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. I took one step outside the resort. What? This is not working. If you're gonna learn to drive, you're gonna have to practice first. Here, play Grand Theft Auto for eight hours, and then we'll give it another no. try. No, That's the worst game to play to work on your... Oh, oh, oh! 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 Okay, Stewie. This is favorite Belarusian children book called Good Night Moon of Chernobyl. Good night, Chernobyl Moon. Good night, Radiation House. Good night, Melted Phone. Good night, Glowing Milk. Good night, Bleeding Grandpa's Eyes. Good night, Two Headed Cat. Good night, Nobody. Good night, blocks and blocks and blocks of nobody. The end. Next book, Everybody Poops. Blood. No! <laughs> Mary, have you seen... Everybody Poops. Blood. Hey, Nicholas. He's up in his room sulking, Dad. Yeah, he's still upset because Abby threw out his baseball cards. Oh, well, maybe I should make him a sandwich. <laughs> oh, Dad, that's your solution to everything. Oh! Yup. Yup. Dad! Dad! What? Eight is enough! <laughs> <laughs> you know I love you girls. Hey, Quagmire! Quagmire! What? What are you doing? I'm watering my lawn! Oh, how's that going? Fine! Hey, you see that NASCAR race this morning? Leave me alone! Hey, Joe, Quagmire's water and... I know! I know, I told you the book was good. Brian, they're publishing your book! You're kidding. I, I can't believe it, that's the worst thing I've ever written. Not according to Penguin Publishing. In fact, you're supposed to call the chief editor. Sir, I have a Brian Griffin on the line. Out! Get out! Get out now! What's wrong? Well, I want to masturbate, but I'm just so darn cold. Too bad there's no answer for that problem. But now there is. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, creator of The Yankin'. If you're anything like me, the number one problem in your life is that you can't masturbate just anywhere. But now you can. Introducing The Yankin', the only blanket with built-in decoy arms. No. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hands are under the blanket going to town. Meg, your mother made soup for you. Here you go, honey. Here's your milk. Peter, what are you doing? Nothing. Let's watch a Scarlett Johansson movie. But wait, there's more. We have Yankets for all occasions. Sporting events. At the supermarket. On the job. Hey, what's going on under that blanket? You'll never know. 
From now on, if you want to tweet something, you do it the old fish. That was hands down the dirtiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, that's real. That's real. Way. Write it on a piece of paper, staple it to a bird, and throw it out the door. Tuesday on Lifetime, Valerie Bertinelli stars in a Lifetime original movie. You know, Doctor, you said you were going to cure my cancer, but all you did was me. I'm starting to think I don't have cancer at all. Well, you're right about the part, but I'm sorry, you still do have cancer. <laughs> Valerie Bertinelli in Men Are Terrible and Will Hurt You Because This Is Lifetime. <laughs> Men are terrible and will hurt you because this is lifetime. Now, if you will, please sing the national anthem of the United States. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Hang on! Oh, you killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. The commentary here is that Mickey Mouse hates Jews. Hello, I'm Steve. I'll be your server this evening. May I start you off with a cocktail? <coughs> you don't work here, do you? I do not. We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? Get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! Should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasized. Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I did not extend my gratitude to you for your unwavering fairness and belief in me, and there is a giant poo on your desk. Hey, look, it's old man Withers, the guy who owns the amusement park. But let's see who's really under there. Ah! A skeleton! Can I have my face back? No, you're going to jail. That must be the new nanny. Is this the Griffin house? Welcome to this work environment. Oh, I'm not the nanny. I'm her Uber driver. Your nanny's still in the car. She dozed off on the way here. I not doze off, Uber. Was looking at crinkled photos of dead relatives. Hello, I am Natalia. What is favorite breakfast fish? Well, if you must know... <coughs> Welcome to this work environment. I got out of the car to take a leak because I've been drinking, and I didn't know it was next to a children's park. But anyway, that's why this lady has to watch whenever I play with you. Both hands on the book, please. It's my son! Come on! Jeez! Thank you, Maya. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. I'm gonna have a three-way. This even tops sex with a mermaid. Where is it? Keep looking. I can't find it anywhere. Keep looking. There's nothing but a fishtail down there. Keep looking. Oh, there we go. That's not it. It's gonna be... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You may as well call your family now, because I'm not going to Sarasota. I don't care if we can't get a refund. We're through! Here, Brian, you take him. Maybe you can make him happy. What? Yes, we're done! I just hope we can handle it better than Blue and Yellow did when they split up. You are supposed to have the kids here by 5. We have plans. It's 5.15. Stop busting my hump, Alicia. Okay, you know what? Let's not, let's not do this in front of the kids. God, you're right. Whatever happened to us? Hey, baby, you ready for dinner? What's up, Scott? We gonna get some barbecue. Since Bill Clinton's been around, you've been acting crazier than when you bought those live duck earmuffs. Shut up! Shut up, Dex! Quiet! I'm trying to think of something. Damn it! God help me if my ears weren't so damn toasty, you'd be going right back to the freaking store. Ah! 
Hey, 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 watch up, party people. Ah, oh, what the hell are these things? Curtains or something? Boring. Holy smoke, it's crowded in here. Hey! hey little man. <laughs> I know, I can't believe we're a Nielsen family. I never get picked for anything. I was sitting in the RC section of the cafeteria when Tracy Bellings approached. Ugh, why aren't you drinking Coke, you dork? Pepsi would also be acceptable. It doesn't have to be a two-cola system. RC is what keeps the big guys on their toes. You know what RC stands for, don't you? Chicks rule. She was dyslexic. Anyway, that was the beginning of a long, abusive relationship. It's one thing if you put your penis inside out in the safety of your own bedroom. But to have it done in the cafeteria? To this day, I can't have sex with a woman against her will without thinking about... What? What the f... To this day, I can't have sex with a woman against her will without thinking about... I didn't... No, not me. It's in the video. Oh, no. What's wrong with the TV? Here's what you used to see. Good night, Mike. Good night, Carol. And here's the stuff you missed. Oh, my God. Good evening, Quahog. Just parking. Be there in a sec. Our top story. Authorities have uncovered a mob-run prescription drug ring targeting Goldman's Pharmacy. The scam involved fraudulent prescriptions submitted for dead people. Pharmacist Mort Goldman failed to report to authorities for questioning. A $10,000 bounty has been offered for his return. $10,000? That's a lot of money. Could be our money, Brian. We could find Mort. Easily. Besides, we haven't done anything together since our confusing two-host talk show. So, Chris Pratt, I hear you have a new movie out. So, Chris, you're from Seattle. Chris, what was it like working with Amy Poehler? Hey, Chris, anything you can tell us about Guardians 3? Chris! 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 Well, Chris that's Pratt, all the time we have with Chris Pratt. Take, Take it away, away multiracial swing guys. Guys. band. Yes, to the Ryan Griffin Show, stay at the, the W, Times Square. Hey, what are you doing? Lois? Where is my Red Bull? Peter, I got rid of it. Why the hell would you do that? <laughs> Official flower business. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tom Tucker, here with local fortune seeker Peter Griffin, who appears to have found a clue to a hidden treasure. That's right, Tom, and I sincerely hope that the caption beneath me doesn't say local fatty. The Quahog 5 News at 6 underscore Rhode Island dot net. We were a little late getting a website. Quick, Neil, sign into the neighbor's Wi-Fi so we can get that clue. Who wants a glass of fresh lemonade? Not me. What I want is a fresh glass of better daughter. <laughs> hey. In fact, this whole homecoming king thing seems to have just gone straight to his head. I know, he's acting like an arrogant jerk. Quiet, Rupert. It is an honor to serve the king in this manner. Brian, this can't go on. Chris is out of control. He's even... So the homie over there getting my pleasures from the doll. It makes perfect sense. More arrogant than an actor, writer, director. Well, my script is brilliant and I'm a great director. The question is, how bad do I want this part? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. <laughs> 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 that was good. Sucks we didn't find out what kind of prank they're gonna pull on Chris. I know that book is The Hunger Games with the cover taken off. Oh look, something on TV. And finally tonight, a moving story from James Woods High where the student body has made their homecoming a special event for a very special boy. And this year's James Woods High homecoming king is... Chris Griffin! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Chris Griffin, a tubby spaz with a heart full of dreams, gets to feel normal for a night, thanks to the kindness of his peers. Oh. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Twizzles.